hi grade 12 so today i decided that i have to do a video which is going to help you to prepare for your examination that you're going to write so i took the first topic which is from the paper one so i'm going to do the other videos which is related to economics paper one so that you will be ready remember guys you can only focus on accounting as this channel is mostly about accounting however we also have to guide you when it comes to economics and a business study as well okay so the first topic that we're going to discuss is a circular flow so remember a circular flow is a chapter which has a possible question of an essay which will, will go is going to count almost a 40 marks of the paper that you are going to write so let's start with our discussion so in this discussion i want you guys to understand remember that guys please make sure that you understand ignore the fact of um claiming the, the sentence please make sure that you understand why because sometimes you will find that this topic is on the short question which they this they state that you have to read the information first you have to go through the scenario then after that you answer the question which means that if you don't understand the scenario you won't be able to do what to answer the question so please make sure that you understand okay then let's proceed then a circular flow uh, is about a representation of economy that's showing how economic participants interact with one another in other words they are saying that on the circular flow we are going to see that okay what does the firm do with the household what does the firm do with the uh, production and so on and so on so the circular flow is going to to show us that okay then we have two types of economy we have a closed economy and we also have open economy so if we are talking about a closed economy simple means that we are talking about an economy that does not participate with the other countries for example if in south africa we are using a closed economy simple means that we don't export or import with the other country like we don't uh, import or export with a uh, Botswana, with Zambia, with Zimbabwe, and other countries, which means that this economy only focus on the business that is, that are within South Africa only. However, open economy. This is the economy that we participate with the other countries. Please make sure that you know this different because if they say that you have to draw a diagram for circular flow for for closed economy you have to make sure that you are ignoring what you are ignoring the inter international trade for open economy you don't have to ignore international trade even on your discussion okay so you have to take note of this the open circular flow model the circular flow model show how the various economic activities flow between the different sectors is what is what I was explaining how the flow of money is going to to be so the circular flow show everything okay without wasting a lot of time let's go to our diagram the open circular flow diagram okay there it is so if you check on this diagram we have four factors of production we have government we have household we have financial market and we have a firm a financial market it can be a bank for example okay that's where we put what our money okay if you check we have a um, let's start with the first part of a household if you check on the blue line that show that the household 
safe intro financial market. That's where these two financial market and household interact because as a people, as a citizen of South Africa, we put money or we save money from from our banks, which means that we interact with what? With the bank. Okay. However, once we, we save money to, uh, to the bank, which means that the bank is going to do what? To pay us interest or dividends. That has been indicated by a red line. Simple. Okay. Then a household also interact with what? With government. We pay tax to government. And government uh, deliver a good to us. Simple. Okay. A government also interact with them. How? If you check um, number one, a firm pay tax. A firm pay tax to government. A firm is a company. If companies are making a profit, which means that they are going to pay what? A tax to the government. And government also provide goods and services to, to a firm. Simple. Okay. Then, remember this diagram is also showing um, a foreign sector because it's an open economy. So, under, uh, under um, open economy, you don't have to ignore a foreign sector. Please make sure that you also show the foreign sector. However, if they said a closed economy, please don't show a foreign sector because they are going to penalize you when they mark. Okay? So, it's, a circular flow is not only about the, the diagram. Remember, everything that has been indicated on a diagram, you don't have to, 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 to write everything. Goods and services, income and rent, taxes, public goods and services. Please, if they say draw a diagram, just write a simple diagram. Government, household, financial market, FM. Like that, simple like that. Okay, now, if they said you have to answer it in a form of essay, this is what you have to discuss. Okay, let's take our discussion. They said a household interaction with the other participants. Okay, then in this uh, heading, you are going to discuss everything that uh, affects a household with the other four factors of production, guys. Okay. Number one, they said a household own a factors of production and sell these factors of production in the factor market. That is a um, FM. Okay. Then, for example, we have a, a labor in a factors of production. Remember, a firm or a company get a labor from a household. Us as a citizen, we are the one who are producing what? A good to, for, to, to, to our companies that we are working from. Which means that companies are getting what? Factors of production from the household. Okay? After we have produced those goods to the companies. Blend number two. We receive a remuneration for the production resource from firm in the form of wage, salaries, interest, rent, and profit. Remember, a household that is working for a company receives a remuneration. Simple. Then, a household use income in, buy, in to buy a good and service from the business. We are the Cash that we have received as a remuneration, we use the, that amount to buy what? To buy goods. Okay? And we also pay tax to our government. Okay? Then the other one, buy goods and service from other country to satisfy their needs and want. Remember, some people, they prefer that they want to buy something outside the country, which means that they are going to interact with a foreign sector. Okay, are major customers of economy, goods and service in the economy. Remember, a household, they are the one of the major of economy. Remember, 
We are the one who buy uh, goods and services to, to FN. Which means that economy cannot grow without a house or okay. Then let's go to the next one. FM or business interact with other participants. Okay, then they said buy factor of production from household in factor market with aim to produce goods and service. Okay, a companies they they buy they purchase effects of production. They take the, 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 the labors that they, they are going to do it to produce. Remember, guys, this point, some of them are the versa versa of what we discuss at first. Please make sure that you have that skill that you, if you get one point, you can be able to point the other point. Please make sure that you, 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 you get your flow so that you, you, you won't waste a lot of time doing one chapter. Sell goods and service through the goods market to household. This is the similar um, point that wa that we did on the first one. Because a household purchase to to a firm. When you come to this side, you say firm sell goods and service to to household, a government and a foreign sector. Okay, then use earnings received from selling goods to other participants to invest further by producing more goods okay of course the firm in what the in income when they sell what those goods okay they also borrow fund remember a companies they can make a loan to to the banks in order to expand what their business okay a firm also pay tax to to the government is the same point that we discussed when we were doing a diagram very simple chapter guys Okay, then the other one is government or state. Interact with the other participant. A government uh, receives revenue from the household, a firm or foreign sector in a form of tax. Remember, those households that they are paying tax, which means that the government is receiving something. When the firm pay tax, government is receiving something. Okay. And government use taxes received to provide household and firm with public goods and service. When the government receives cash, simply means that they are going to use that cash to do what? To provide goods and services to a household. Okay? And they also pay subsidy to firm to keep price of goods low. Remember guys, we have goods that has been subsidized by the government why because if the government did not subsidize the goods simply means that they have, those goods they were going to be very 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 expensive okay then the government also pay grant i'm sure everyone know this one and i'm sure that this one you will never never ever forget it because you are getting a grant some of you are getting a 350 so government has a responsibility to pay a grant to a household okay and government sometimes can go broke which means that they have to borrow funds to the banks simple okay lastly is a foreign sector a foreign sector interact with the other participant imports flow through the goods market to household the firm and the government dependence okay remember a foreign sector now we are talking about what the other countries we are talking about the business which is in the outside the, the other country which means that those business they import goods from south africa and they also export goods from south africa a versa versa okay then they receive received for export flow through the foreign sector to fm household and government when they export of course they're going to receive something they're going to receive cash a foreign sector payment for imports flow through the firm if they import something of course they have to pay us or as a household they have to pay us if they order to government they have to pay government if they order from household they have to pay a household or firm simple okay 
this is the discussion that you have to do if they require you to to do a essay question however grade 12 please you have to know that this question almost come sometimes in a form of short question they can just say discuss a circular flow under the following subheading then they give you the government and they give you a funding sector which means that this point is the one that they are going to that you're going to do what to discuss so normally they will say a four point multiplied by two which is eight which means that if they come in a form of short question you almost have 16 marks eight marks for discussing the first one eight marks for discussing the second one four point four point each point they have a two marks please make sure that you do that make sure that you do that so i'm going to do the other chapters as well for 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 paper one so that you will be ready ready guys i want you guys to do to get a distinction so that you won't get you won't have a problem when you want a admission when you go to the university next next year so please guys make sure that you have subscribed to my channel this channel is going to help you for accounting economics and business study and give you the tips and the the scope of how the test how the exam is going to be look like thank you guys see you on the next video